Hey guys, how's it going? It's your boy Dressed to Cool. Today, we are opening up a set booster box of Strixhaven School of Mages. I, uh, I'm just filming this right after this Battle for Zendikar pre-release pack opening. Uh, so, I'm hoping that we get something better. <laughs> I hope this is a better box than that, uh, pre-release kit. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, let's see what we got in here. Ooh, it does not want to open nicely. If you guys remember, I bought a collector booster box of this when it came out. So I actually haven't opened any set booster packs of Strixhaven. So this is going to be interesting to see. I don't even know if we can get the Japanese variant cards in this. I don't think we can. It'd be pretty cool if we can. I don't know, I, I'd, I'd be I'd be down for that, but, uh, I don't know. I'm mostly buying this because I just, I, I want another Demonic Tutor. You can't have too many of those these days. And, uh, what better way to do it than to just open up Strixhaven on a good deal. So, uh, yeah, let's get right into this. Honestly, I think uh, I think Strixhaven will do pretty good over time. I really do like this set. Like the uh, the the themes, the the rares. Some of the mechanics are cool, like Magecraft, dramatic finale, shock, and foil eliminate. What do you guys think of Strixhaven? You guys think it'll do well over time? Because honestly, I think that these dragons in this set are just going to, like, do some crazy stuff over time. And things like that, uh, that... Oh, man. Kazmina Enigma Sage. First Mythic of the Box. Nice Planeswalker there. We got Plarg, Dean of Chaos. Divine Gambit. And Reckless Amplomancer. Amplomancer? <laughs> Okay. And I don't know. I I'm kind of surprised that we haven't had a set that's just like a bunch of wizards <laughs> yet. Considering that this is Magic the Gathering all right. Hey, Crackle with Power. This is a card I really wanted. Nice another mythic. Second mythic of the box. Skake Skin Veil. Storm Kiln Artist. Yeah, I think Crackle of Power is pretty cool. Pump 5 mana into it. You deal 5 damage. Pump 8, you deal 10. And it just keeps going up from there. It's great. Spiteful Squad. Silver Quill Pack. Lord Hold. Accomplished Alchemist. A Growth Spiral. Prismari Apprentice. And, uh... Oh, man, is that a... This is a list card, it's, uh... Oh, I can't remember that set symbol. Dual decks, uh, Knights vs. Dragons? Is that it? I don't know, I'll, I'll have to look it up later. I do like that art, though. Big old dragon, breathing some fire. A seething song, if you will. Okay, let's get to the good stuff here. Demogoth Titan. Duress. Twin Scroll Shaman. Pretty light. Pretty, pretty light so far. Nothing, nothing, nothing too big. I don't think Kazmina is that big of a hit. I'm pretty sure that the only good Planeswalker in this set is, uh, uh, Liliana. Silver Coil Silencer. Defiant Strike. Foil Rare Torrent Sculptor. Merfolk Wizard, and on the back, fame, Flamethrower Sonata. Not bad. wonder if we'll get any good hits on the list. I don't even know what's in the list for uh, Strixhaven. Oh, Teachings of the Archaics. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, some of the rare lessons are in the front. That's always caught me off guard with these packs. 
Because there's an extra slot rate, so you can get like a mythic at the very front of the pack. <laughs> Elemental Expressionist. Hey, Faithless Looting. I actually wanted an art of this because it's it's so weird <laughs> and outlandish, you know. Oh, and a Panharmonicon in the back. That's that's not a bad uh, list rare. I'll take it. I'll take that all day. Wow. I wonder when they're gonna start reprinting stuff from like Battle for Zendikar and uh, Kaladesh and Shadows of Rinistrad. Because, like, a lot of it's already, like, printed way too heavily, Prismari Command. But, uh, eventually they're gonna have to start reprinting this stuff. Thrill of Possibility, Electrolyze, Foil. Because, uh... They're gonna have to start reprinting them because some of the Mythics from those sets are, like, getting up there in price. Like, Ulamog, like, the regular ones, like, I think, like, 70 bucks Canadian. Like, sure, all the old, uh, Eldrazi are up there, too, but, like... I don't know, I just, I don't feel like he should be worth that much money. I, I feel like he's $30. Accomplished Alchemist. Village Rights. Killian Ink Duelist. What do you guys think on that subject? How often do you think cards should be uh, reprinted? Because honestly, Wizards overprints some cards, but underprints others. And I don't know how they don't see that. Poet's Quill. Calling Ritual. Hey, not bad. I like this card. Negate. Frost Trickster. And a young Pyromancer. Man. I remember when this was a... Actually, a pretty expensive uncommon. Come on, Demonic Tutor. Hey! I actually like this. I love Time Warp as a card. I love taking extra turns and to have a art artist signed copy. That's pretty cool. I'll put that off to the side. Dina, Tend, Demogoth, Eyewitch, Oracle Lore Mage. I think this card's underrated. D Spark, good removal. Glare Drop Warden. Yeah, or Glory Mage is just in Tomb every turn with Upside. Like, sure, it's not that broken. Oh, another Poet's Quill, okay. Valentin, Dean of the Vein. Uh, Regrowth. Can always use more of those. Essence Infusion. I think it's incredible. That these uh, Mystical Archive cards are like almost worth nothing. Like the only ones actually worth something are the uh, the Mythics. Like the, the Demonic Tutors and the... Uh, what else? Necroblossom Snarl? The, the, the Mythics and like the, the crazy foils, the Japanese variants. Those are the only ones really worth money. And a lot of the rares like... It's got to be, like, a very playable card for it to actually be worth something. Because, like, otherwise there's no demand for it. Like, this Infuriate, it's beautiful. It's great art. But it's probably worth, like, five cents. <laughs> nice art card. Foil Swamp. Elemental Expressionist. Hey, Elite Spellbinder. Not bad, not bad. Revitalize. Stonebound Mentor. And Jubilant Mascot. A nice uncommon from Battlebond. It's hard to believe that Battlebond is almost four years old now. <laughs> God. Time flies by in this game. Hey, Harness Infinity. I bought a bunch of foil copies of this card. Thinking it was going to go up in price. Because it, it's, it's honestly, it's a good card. It's in speed, exchange hand and graveyard, exile it. Who wouldn't want that? We got a nice channel. It's a mythic, but it's not really worth anything because you can't really play it anywhere. I think the only place it's legal is, uh... I think it's restricted in vintage. I think that's the only place you can play channels. Besides, like, cube. Because it really is a broken card. 
You know, I kind of love that about these old cards from back in the day. Because, uh, oh, Retriever Phoenix, Selfless Glyph Weeder, Opt. Because, uh, back in the day, uh, the old, like, 93, 94 sets, they were so powered down that, like, fast mana wasn't that powerful. If you could, like, cheat out a 3-drop on, like, turn 1, it's not that great. Like, like sure, you're, you're still getting ahead of your opponent, but a 3-drop in, like, the olden days is probably, like, a a Basalt Monolith or a uh, an Urlu Minotaur, <laughs> you know? You're not getting something like, uh, you know, what you have nowadays. 3 mana, like, 4 threes and 3 threes and whatnot. Hey, Counterspell. Clockwork Archivist. You know what I mean? Like, you're not going to get anything stupidly powerful. Like, Channel, I guess, back in the day could get you a Colossus of Sardia. A 9 mana, 9, 9 with Trample. But, it has its downside, right? Once you attack with it, it doesn't untap unless you pay 9 mana during your upkeep. Vanishing Verse, good on removal. Hey, Jadzi, Oracle of the Archivos. Archivios or whatever. Journey to the Oracle. I think this is a really cool card. I think this back half, you may put any number of land cards from here on the battlefield. Is so good. And then if you have eight or more lands, you may discard a card if you do return it to its owner's hand. So then you can do it again. And again. And again. Agonizing remorse. Snow day. <laughs> Everybody gets the gets the day off on a snow day. I don't know, man. Magic's done like a full like 360 from, you know, back in the day. Nowadays, creatures and instants and sorceries, they're all the, the powerful things. And mana has been just nerfed. Blood Researcher. Sedgemore Witch, that's a... Uh, I think that's he's playing a few different formats. I think. I think. <laughs> Ruxa. Fury Calm Snarl. Okay. Hey, a Tainted Pact. This is something I needed. Oh, man. I've already got uh, all the other pieces. Now I can make, like, a, a blue-black uh, commander deck with these guys. Okay. Dragon's Approach. And a Meboid Changeling. Oh, man. For a while at my local game store, uh, nobody could get a Meboid Changeling because <laughs> it just kept getting bought by people wanting to make sliver decks. Because a uh, sliver overlord, I think, if you have like an amiiboy changeling, you turn one of your opponent's creatures into a, a sliver, and then you can just gain control of it forever. I don't know, people did some crazy stuff with uh, slivers back in the day. And it counts as a sliver, so you can search it with your general. It's great. Ah, the biblioplex. A poor man's library of Alexandria. Electrolyze. Eureka moment. Man, we haven't gotten really much sauce from these packs, you know? We haven't gotten much... That much oomph, you know? We need something to bring us back here. Tempted by the orc. Cultivate. Ardent dust speaker. Minotaur shaman. When's Minotaur is going to make a comeback? When are, when are we going to see some Minotaur tribal and like standard and commander and all that? When's that going to happen? Radiant Scroll Wielder. Heon, Dean of Substance. Eliminate. Silver Pole Campus. Come on, Strixhaven, don't kill me now. Where are the where are the elder dragons at? <laughs> Culling ritual. Grape shot. Foil duress. I think we're getting all the mystical archive cards. I don't think that's an issue at all. Harness infinity. Nice, nice. Cody voracious codex. <laughs> Whirlwind Denial, 
Oil Retriever Phoenix. Okay, we're on five packs left here. I think we only got four Mythics, counting the uh, Tainted Pact in the... No, five Mythics, counting the, the Tainted Pact in the channel. Silver Quill Silencer. Swords of Plowshares, not bad. Introduction to Annihilation. Oh yeah, and by the way, channel back in the day wasn't uncommon. And now it's been upshifted all the way to Mythic. <laughs> Crazy how, how things work, you know? Conspiracy Theorist. Hey, Wandering Archaic, not a bad card. Great card to play in Commander. Approach of the Second Sun. I love this card. I play in my Pramicon deck. Closing statement. And release the dogs. Oh, a jumpstart card. I didn't know that they put those on the list. Okay, only a couple packs left to go. Oh, another sign card. Just a big old demon. Hall monitor. <laughs> Verdant Mastery. Claim the Firstborn. Elemental Summoning. Come on, Strixhaven, don't fail me now. Humiliate. Hoffrey, Ghostforge. There's another mythic. Spirits you control, get plus one, plus one, how trample and haste. Non token creature control dies. Okay, so he's like. Just an aggro general, I guess. Dealing with spirits. Decisive denial. I kind of want to make a five color spirit deck in a uh, commander. You know, play like uh, Okigachi, Vengeful Spirit, and just like play that tribe, play a bunch of the old spirits from like. Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Kamigawa. Dramatic Finale, Adventurous Impulse, Letter of Acceptance. And there we have it, folks. That was our uh, set booster box of Strixhaven. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you for, so very much for watching. And uh, until next time, I'll see you guys then. Bye.